Why am I starting with a hat? All right, hey guys, this is Austin. And today, Ken's gonna make me look stupid. Which is really nothing new, particularly. Is this what you got at E3? So we were shooting a video at E3 a couple months ago, or a month ago, and uh, Ken made me look away as he had to purchase some mystery tech item. Do you like Fortnite? No, I, I got my ass kicked on the stupid Fortnite, like, spinny thing. That was a very special moment for me. Is this a onesie? What is this? Oh, what? It's got the, oh no. No, oh, man, what? oh man. Do I, do I have to do, look, it's way too big. Wait, no, look, look. It's like way too big. By the way, it was $70, so. Why, why you gotta tell me that? What are, the, I've got pockets, that's great, at least. How's that, Matt? Does my audio sound great with my hoodie on? You sound as great as you look. Well, so you have a lot of frustration that you want to vent out, so feel free to write it. The Rocket Book Everblast. Oh, I've actually heard about these. So is this one of the ones where you can write and like put it in the oven or you can erase it with some kind of special ink or something? Everlast is an endlessly reusable notebook you can use with any pen in the Pilot Friction line. Oh, the friction pens. Oh, those are cool. So you literally like an erasable pen. Oh, word, this is cool. Oh no. Oh. Ken, what did we tell you about water on the table? You don't remember last time when water got in all of our power? Oh, what? What? Oh, okay. I mean, it looks like a pretty okay notebook. It's got some grid lines and a QR code, which I assume. Ugh. Ugh. That's, a, that's the worst smelling notebook I've ever smelled. <laughs> Do not microwave this notebook. It's not a big notebook. It's what, 30 pages? But it's reusable. Yeah, I guess. How many pages do you need, but you can just erase it? All right. So, with that. Oh, dude. Was that necessary? Can't ever be too sure. I think this is enough water. I believe it said damp, not soaking. It's an uncomfortable noise. Well, I can say already, it's literally running away. So, if I just rub it, oh, it's gone. Totally gone. Hi, huh, my name's Ken. I make really questionable decisions on mystery tech, and I make Austin wear, oh no. Oh, whoa, wait, wait. A Sterling engine? Please tell me I don't have to build this. <laughs> so this is a physics toy, which will be an electricity generator. All right, uh, this is fine. How much was this particular uh, Sterling engine? $100. Ooh, a little pricey. Curiosity is the most powerful thing you own. Do you own your curiosity? I feel like your curiosity owns you. This is very deep. Uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Yo, that's actually really cool. So we need alcohol, which is 95% pure. This better not have come out of the mystery tech budget. You don't have any actual alcohol, do you? We need like rubbing alcohol. Oh. You did come prepared. Ah, you got me. How much is this? The dollar or the? Yeah, this. Oh, a lot. I bought it to share. Oh no, really? You aren't gonna drink this by yourself? You don't just pop a bottle of 2009 Dom Perignon and just be like, I'm Kimberlito. Go, 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 go. Okay, oh, that looks excellent. All right, I'm gonna gently move this underneath without burning myself. Okay, that is a big flame. So now we need to wait about 30 seconds for the, the thing to warm up, and then I should just be able to give it a little kickstart, and we will have ourselves a Sterling engine. This is pretty cool, and that's definitely a solid flame. Oh, it almost started there. Oh, look at that. Ho oh, ho! Dude! Look at that! So this is a 100% alcohol powered engine. So essentially the alcohol is being fed through the wick. It is lighting up our chamber, which is then, I'm guessing just like adding enough heat to sort of pressurize this uh, piston. And then that is spinning a flywheel, which is running a generator and giving ourselves a tiny little LED. Yo. Dude, this thing is really cool. It even sounds like an engine, you hear that? Oh, it's even speeding up. This is so cool. And then, 
and it should run out of power and slowly turn itself off. That might be one of the coolest items we've ever had on Mystery Tech. I can even forgive my stupid eyeballs. I just stormed out of the room and there's a dude who just gave me the weirdest look ever and I literally turned right back around and walked inside because I was so embarrassed. God, <laughs> look, there's only one RoboRaptor. There are a bunch of weird derpy cousins. Thank you very much, Matt. You're a real supporter. There's a bunch of derpy cousins and stupid versions, but this is the OG. This is what really keeps Mystery Tech alive. <laughs> wait, wait, do you realize how dumb this looks? <laughs> He's got a rocket launcher on him. All right, this is gonna be fun. So I'm fueling up this stupid dinosaur with water. Oh. Do you guys know how to use water? Oh! Oh, oh what? Oh. What? All right. Yo, wait, this is actually cool. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, yes! Fight, fight, fight. Whoa! Whoa! Get it! Get it! Get it, Roboraptor! Uh oh. Oh, it's dead. Yes! Roboraptor is victorious! Good job. The new one has fire breathing and. and uh, okay, well. No, don't fall. It's okay, he was just really excited because he won that battle. <laughs> it's like it died. It's just like breathing smoke and trying to get up. Yeah, okay. Roboraptor wins this round. Also, now is a very good time to point out that I made a Twitter account for Roboraptor. Follow it. Follow it now! I'm getting sweatier and sweatier the longer we go. Alright. Square Bear? What? Oh. Why do I have to build things? I don't want to build things, Ken. So this is Square Bear. So I have to put this together? No, it's a, it's a bear figure that comes in a square. Oh! Oh, okay, all right. This is the bear? Did you make the bear right now? Have you seen a bear? I'm looking at the box, and it doesn't look like you got it that well. Done. Status, ooh! So you guys may be familiar with my love of status headphones. The CB1s have lived in my bag for years. That is until they finally broke, actually, a couple months ago. So this is the SAHD1BT. The BT1, as the kids say. You have a Pixel, right? I do have a Pixel, yes. It does do Aptex. Ah, Ken with the classic. It's a bunch of weird stuff in Mystery Tech, and then there's a pair of headphones, which these, are you gonna steal these? No, they sent me one too. Ha <laughs> ha, wait. Did they bribe you? Is the reason that these are in Mystery Tech is because Status like hooked up you, like you, they sent you a pair of headphones like, hey, sneak this into Mystery Tech. You getting that kickback, Ken? No. That was the least convincing no I've ever heard. Oh, so they're on ears. Mm, they feel pretty decent. Um, they're lightweight, maybe a little bit on the cheap side, but we'll see how they actually sound. So I am traditionally not a huge fan of on-ear headphones, but, You can take off the hoodie. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Got it? Got it? You could put those underneath it. Oh, look, I can't hear you. What great passive noise cancellation these headphones have. I'm going to wear these for the rest of the video. The highs are actually really pronounced. 
Like most of the headphones I feel like I listen to, especially on Mystery Tech, are a little bit on the bass heavy side, but these actually are really clear, especially for Bluetooth. All right, time for the Hotel California test. Okay, so they don't quite have the same bass punch that I usually like to have in headphones. It's a little bit more on the troubly side, but it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. It's just a little bit of a different style, specifically compared to those CB1s that I've listened to so often. That being said though, for a hundred bucks, I mean, yeah, they do feel a little bit on the cheap side, but I like that they have USB-C. I like the fact that it does support Aptex HD. And honestly, these might actually end up in my bag. Um, although the carrying case is a little bit big, but uh, yeah, not bad. 100 bucks, okay. Oh, what? Oh, no. It's it. You did not buy the Snorlax. Did you buy the Snorlax? Ken, did you buy the Snorlax? Is this the life size? Ken, how much was the Snorlax? It was being liquidated, so a steal <laughs> at 150. Oh, actually, it's not bad. I've seen this thing for like four or 500 bucks. Yeah. All right. I've been pestering him to get this for like two seconds. Oh, it's ah, this. This is adorable. <laughs> ah. All right. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode of Mystery Tech. Unfortunately, this item is no longer available, but links to everything else that is will be in the description, as well as Ken's resume for an excellent job of Mystery Tech this month. Why am I laying so seductively like this? Yikes. Oh no. I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs>